Now, I'll admit I'm not much of a basketball fan. Hey, I'm a white man that can't jump. By the way, I don't take any offense to that movie title, although I do wonder when they're going to make the sequel, Asian Woman Can't Drive. Um, probably never. In any event, the Toronto Raptors are the talk of Hogtown these days. They disposed of the Indiana Pacers and the Miami Heat, although the Raptors likely now face their extinction event thanks to a catastrophic asteroid known as the Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, while I hate to be a Debbie Downer, I gotta ask, did the Toronto Raptors and the Toronto Transit Commission make a world-class fumble with regards to a recent social media campaign? A pal of mine passed along a curious tweet recently. The tweet had emanated from the Raptors promoting a recent home game. Check out this abbreviated video clip. Now, as you can see, it depicts a Toronto subway car festooned with graffiti. Um, hello, what's wrong with this picture? One of the big city blights Toronto has mercifully been free of over the decades is graffiti festooned subway cars. You know, like those subway cars that appear in the opening credits of Welcome Back, Cotter. Welcome back to that same old place that you... Yuck, get a load of that train. Worse than Arnold Horshack's laugh. <laughs> oh, that darn sweat hog. But seriously, folks, such tagged subway cars might be de rigueur in certain U.S. cities, but thankfully not so in the six, as the young'uns say. Now, I do get it. The graffiti-laced TTC subway cars fit right into that whole boys in the hood vibe many basketball teams employ to market their product. You know, edgy, urban, hardcore, a bit of gangsta hip hop here, a bit of ghetto there. These Raptors aren't your grandfather's Argonauts after all, yet in their zeal to get down with the kids, have the Raptors not opened a Pandora's box here? At the end of the day, graffiti is unauthorized garden variety vandalism. Why would you want to glorify this? In fact, glorifying vandalism is completely contrary to the famous broken window theory of law enforcement. This is the theory that maintaining and monitoring urban environments to prevent small crimes helps to create an atmosphere of order and lawfulness, thereby preventing more serious crimes from happening. New York City applied the broken windows mindset in the mid 80s and guess what? The crime rate in the Big Apple fell suddenly and significantly. No longer were the petty criminals overlooked and allowed to do what they wanted. So I can't imagine that New York City or its transit authority would be overjoyed if say the Knicks or the Nets were to glorify, to glorify subway vandalism as part of their marketing campaigns. But what do the Raptors and the TTC have to say? Well, the Raptors representative I spoke to wouldn't go on record with his comments, so I don't think they've really thought this through at all. As for the TTC, spokesman Sharon Town told me, at the end of the day, we decided to let the Raptors go ahead with this style of messaging, hoping that our customers would get it. And should a Raptor fan imitate art by tagging a TTC subway car in reality? Sharon told me, obviously, we wouldn't want them to do that. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Now, maybe I'm making a mountain out of a molehill here, but in the weeks and months ahead, should TTC subway cars end up like the ones in the credits for Welcome Back, Cotter? Well, as the saying goes, folks, you reap what you sow. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more? The Rebel will click here to become a premium member.